we are uh, thrilled. Wednesday mornings, former Congressman uh, Fred Grandy and uh, many times accompanied by his lovely bride, Mrs. Fred, uh, join us. They talk about uh, this creeping Sharia, reading so many stories. Uh, new stuff coming out today about Dearbornistan in Michigan, uh, where uh, Christians are now being directed. Give up what you believe and become Sharia compliant. I'm sure we'll be talking about that uh, as they investigate it more. They've been following so many stories and uh, just great to welcome them. Grandies, good morning. Good morning, Good Jeff. morning, Jeff. How are you? We're good. good. Oh. You're born to Stan. That's uh, where Mrs. Fred hails from. Is that right? Oh, that's yeah. her hometown, yeah. Oh, yeah. <gasps> what happened? Yeah, that's what I said. I guess I left and it all, you know, went south. Oh, my Yeah, gosh. it's very scary, but that's what we're going to address today is uh, how they are taking over and telling us that their Sharia law is just great. And Mr. Fred has a whole bunch of information, well, so I defer. The the... Um, the story picks up a couple of weeks ago. I remember Mrs. Fred was talking about the Islamic Circle of North America and their mm-hmm. nationwide Sharia education campaign, yep. 25 cities in the next six months. Boston yep. is included. Mm-hmm. And uh, we've done a little bit more research on this. Now, they're calling this Defending Religious Freedom, Understanding Sharia, and they're having events. They've already had one in Washington. They've got a big billboard in Kansas City saying, you got questions about Sharia, we've got answers. And here's what they say. The First okay. Amendment guarantees religious freedom for every citizen. Muslim Americans are asking for the same fundamental rights to observe Sharia, a component of the Islamic faith, in our personal, familial, and religious affairs within the boundaries of the United States. Now, who could be opposed to that, right? Sounds I mean, that's, that's white Fairly president. innocuous, yeah. Yeah. However, the Center for Security Policy has done a little bit more... G2, a little bit more research on this, and have discovered who the Islamic Circle of North America really reveres, reveres as their heroes, and Mrs. Fred has more on that. Mm. Right, ICNA, uh, ICH, as an ICH, mm-hmm. ICNA, mm-hmm. the Islamic Circle of North America has really, Jeff, has terrorism at its roots. Right. The guys who founded ICNA back in 1971 were leaders of Jamaat e Islami. Now, this is an anti American fundamentalist, Taliban-supporting organization, also known as the Pakistani branch of the Muslim Brotherhood. Oh, that sounds familiar. Yep, the Muslim Brotherhood. And like the Brotherhood, Jamaat's primary goal is to establish Islam and Sharia law worldwide, which is really why this 25-city Sharia education campaign is happening now. ICNA wants Sharia law in the U.S., Mm. so... They are on tour saying that it is compatible with our Constitution when we all know, those of us who know, that it is anything but compatible with our Constitution. But you know, Jeff, what they're doing is using the art of taqiyya, and that is Mm -hmm. lie to the infidel, which is perfectly fine for Muslims to do as long as the lies further the cause of Sharia law. But not only that, Ikna is very high on Ayatollah Khomeini, you know, the leader of the anti-American, violent, totalitarian regime in Iran where Sharia law rules. In fact, Ikna's website had Khomeini listed as one of the great leaders of the last 100 years until they started getting ready to launch their Sharia tour, and then Khomeini's name vanished from Ikna's website. Oh, I see. So this is like the new and improved Sharia, like <laughs> yeah. great tasting, right. less filling sort of it's Sharia. Born again Sharia. Oh, oh, right, right. Oh, I you know, see. they're not yes. going to tell you that if a, if a woman is raped, she needs four male witnesses or she probably will be stoned to death, or that, that brides are nine years old, you know, oh. or that husbands can have four wives and shut them up in the house and not let them go out, you know, yeah. or beat them. Yeah. We, we talked last yes. week about the beating guide, beating your wife. Here's how to do it. That's Sharia law unbelievable now uh, i'm i'm assuming and i am making those annoying air quotes when i say that i'm assuming that uh congress and the senate governors around the country are standing up and saying oh no we'll be fighting back uh actually they're clueless Mm. there's a community awareness alert that we have out uh if it weren't for you probably would be lost on deaf ears but but let me just draw a distinction between what they're saying and what they really mean Uh, another Another person that is revered on ICNA's website is a guy named Syed Abu Alamadoudi. Now, uh, you may not know who he is. He's Pakistani himself. But mm-hmm. he is to Sharia and Jihad what Lenin was to communism wow. in the last century. He is essentially the operational guy. 
And this is what he says. I'm quoting now. This is not a redaction. This is what he says. Islam requires the earth, not just a portion, but the whole planet. To this end, Islam wishes to press into service all forces which can bring about a revolution. And a composite term for the use of these forces is jihad. Now, does that sound like a personal expression of faith or global (laughs) domination? (laughs) I mean, this is this is what is so clever about these guys. They they can they can artfully mask yeah. who they are. But but just one one final point about who Ickner really adores. Yeah. One of their heroes, and this was uh, including a, a a special program honoring Jamil Abdullah Al Amin. Now you may know him by his other name, H. Rap Brown, oh. convicted cop killer, uh-huh. doing a life sentence for shooting a sheriff's deputy. This is one of their heroes, Jeff. Wow. These are the guys who are out, and they will be in a city near you, oh. Boston, at some point, uh, talking about how we have nothing to fear from Sharia. Who are you going to believe? Yeah. Well, we're going to get all this up now. Uh, Fred and Mrs. Fred, let me ask you, uh, which college will be hosting them? Will it be Harvard or will it be Northeastern? Because uh, just last uh, week, Northeastern hosted a, an event where they uh, essentially trashed uh, the, the Jewish experience of the Holocaust. Well, I'm not sure exactly where they'll be in, in uh, New England, particularly in Boston. Down here, they've been at GW, George Washington University. Mm-hmm. Uh, Georgetown is a, is a hotbed of <laughs> Islamic support. Uh-huh. Um, but I would have to be, I would have to believe that Harvard would certainly be on 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 the list of uh, preferred sites because they, you know, that's where Sharia law is taught at the law school. That's right. I, I'm assuming this is a, yet again a reminder to you not to contribute to your alma mater. I I really have been disabused from that for about the last forty years, Jeff. <laughs> I mean, long before Sharia, I wasn't giving to Harvard. <laughs> But, Jeff, remember one thing. There are plenty of moderate Muslims who know what's up with ICNA right. and don't want this to happen. But ICNA spending $3 million, and people like Manda Irvin and Dr. Zudi Jasser, who are, who are against this, you know, who are moderate or secular, secular Muslims, don't have the money for this kind of campaign. It's exactly correct. Fred Grandy, his lovely bride, we just call her Mrs. Fred, uh, they're the only people in America. I'm not kidding you. They are really just about the only people in America willing to stand up on a weekly basis and say, hey, you should be aware of what's going on with Sharia. You should be aware of what's going on with extreme Islamic terror friendly organizations. And you know who I get the most email from when it comes to this? And I'm not kidding you on this. Moderate Muslims within our community, moderate Muslims within our listening area, send me emails and all of them, every last one of them, says the, the same thing. Please don't read this on the air. Please don't share my name. But they're all telling me, thank you. Thank you for having Fred Grandy and Mrs. Fred on every week so that the people know that uh, what we believe in is not what these extremists believe in. It's, it's good stuff.